Before I start this video, I want to say that I'm doing a giveaway. All you have to do to join is subscribe to this channel, turn your post notifications on, give a like to this video, and also leave a comment down below saying I want to win the giveaway. And the winner of the giveaway will be chosen on 4th of July, and they will be receiving shoe trees for their entire sneaker collection. Hey yo, what's good at your bar sneakers? Welcome back to the channel. If you guys are new here, make sure to hit that subscribe button and also make sure to hit that bell button next to it. And while you're down there, you might as well give this video a thumbs up because today we are going to get into some more Kanye news or some Yeezy news, more specifically into Yeezy footwear because I still don't know what's going on with the whole Yeezy name and the whole Chinese company buying out Kanye's name. That's a whole nother mess. I spoke about that in a video. You guys can check it out over here. I don't know the exact update yet, but I will update you guys once I figure that out. Anyways, about less than a week ago, I know I announced that Yeezy is dropping a V2 sneaker. And it's funny because that same day that I dropped that video, he tweeted a picture of the first V2 colorway that we'll be dropping. And this sneaker is absolutely hideous. I personally do not like this colorway because it has way too many colors on it. It's one color scheme, but it's just way too many shades. You've got like 50 shades of gray going on here, and I'm not liking it. And on top of that, the midsole is one solid color, and I think that's what makes it look absolutely ugly. What would have been orange on the Wave Runner is now dark gray. Whatever would have been black is now dark gray, and whatever would have been white is now dark gray as well. This just looks like a big chunk of a midsole that has no style whatsoever on it. If we go to the outsole, we do have the rubber gum outsole, which does give it some style. That's pretty cool, I'm not gonna lie. I wasn't a big fan of it on the frozen yellow colorway because the contrast was just too different. It was weird. I feel like the gum sole bottoms only should go on dark sneakers, not on really bright shoes like the frozen yellow. It was not a good look. That's why the sneaker's not doing too well. I feel like the resale could be way higher if the outsole was the same color as the whole sneaker and that gum outsole just completely killed it. But moving back to the 700, the midsole's the same, so it will be containing boost. However, the only thing that slightly changes is the upper. They did add a little bit more details to it and change a couple things here and there. And the main one you notice is the three stripes. Instead of the three stripes that angle backwards for the Adidas logo, these three stripes on the V2 now curve. And I don't think I'm a big fan of that. On the Wave Runner, there is those three stripes. However, you don't see them because they are reflective and they are a part of the material. So they do blend in pretty good. But if you put the flash on, you do get to see those three stripes. On the V2, it's clearly a whole different material, but it does actually look reflective. So even if you take a picture with the flash, I think you will be able to see that. However, for some reason, the V2 looks chunkier. At least this colorway does. And I think it's because of the blob of the midsole since it's all the same color. And then you have different shades of gray in the upper which don't match at all. Like none of these colors even match with the gum outsole. You have what looks like a suede material on the side there which is a darker shade than the outsole. And if you go to the heel of the sneaker, you even have a darker shade of gray with little holes on it. They had those same holes on the Wave Runner as well. I think it's just for breathability and just so your foot don't sweat that much in case you have sweaty feet, you know what I'm saying? The color scheme is everywhere and I think that's what's making it look trash. We've seen pictures of it in the past in a triple black colorway and it didn't look as nice as the Wave Runner, but it did look nicer than the official colorway that's gonna be dropping later this year, which you guys can't expect it to drop anytime between October to December because Kanye did say it's coming in quarter four of the year and that's pretty much the fourth quarter of the year since those are the last four months of the year. Or the last three months, October, November, December. Yeah, last three months, I'm sorry. Now, what does this mean as the V1700s go? I don't know exactly. There's no news on what's going on with those. I don't think they're gonna be discontinued. I think they're gonna still make them because they only made one colorway. I'm pretty sure he's not just gonna make one colorway and dip. Like, he's definitely gonna have to make more colorways for us. At least four, at least three, at least two, at least still another one, Kanye. Like, there's no way he's just gonna leave us hanging with one. And if I'm wrong and this is the only one, then feel special you have the sneaker right now because that sneaker actually is not too high of a price point. Like, before the resale was 700, 800 around there. Now it's around 550, which I'm probably going to cop soon because I don't want to miss out on the chance of having it at that price because I know the price is going to go up, especially if it's going to be the only one. That means there's going to be no other colorways that's going to make that colorway in particular very special. As far as the V2s go, we already have a black colorway. We have this colorway coming out. Hopefully we get the triple black, but Yeezy news is always up in the air. We don't ever have exact news as to what's going on with them until around the release dates. I usually stay tuned to Yeezy Mafia, which I just now realized their Twitter account is no longer available. I apologize for not having too many pictures for you guys, but at least you guys get an idea of what the sneaker's gonna look like. You guys actually have the exact idea what the sneaker's going to look like because that's gonna be the exact sneaker that we're gonna be getting. Most likely, like I said, the news is always up in the air and things get canceled last minute. Like we were supposed to get an olive green colorway of the 350 V2s and we never did. That ended up being covered up by a Zebra V2 re-release. We never know with Yeezys, honestly. It's always like last minute. 
But if you guys want to stay tuned to the latest Yeezy news, make sure to subscribe to this account and turn your post notifications on. All you gotta do is hit that bell right next to the subscribe button down below and you will be notified when I drop all future videos. And you guys don't want to miss it because I'm always talking about the latest Yeezy news. So make sure you hit the subscribe button. And if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to give the video a thumbs up. Now I have to ask you guys, what do you guys prefer? The V1s or the V2s out of the 700s? Let me know down in the comments below. Today's fan of the day does go to Scorpion711. If you want to be a fan of the day, all you got to do is subscribe to this channel, turn your post notifications on, and also make sure to leave a positive comment down below. Anyways, guys, until next time, make sure you guys keep grinding. It's your boy, I think you're signing out.